Yeah, so here, if when I use Fresnel equations to prove this, what this NTI means, it's the ratio of the index of refraction transmitted to index of refraction incident. So, so basically what they mean by that NTI, that's just NT over NI. That's, that's what it means. Okay, so Fresnel's equation reads, um, this is equation 334, uh, flexion coefficient perpendicular equals Ni cosine theta I minus Nt cosine theta T all over n i cosine theta i plus n t cosine theta t uh, and this is by the way problem 475 in the fourth edition uh, so what i'm going to do here uh, i'm going to divide by n i so divide by n i. So then I will get r perpendicular cosine theta i since the n i cancels here minus n t over n i is just n t i the ratio of the index of refractions theta t over uh, n i over an i1 so this is cosine theta i plus n t i cosine theta t okay and uh, <coughs> so uh, we're gonna use the trig identity cosine squared alpha plus sine squared alpha is equal to one so I will replace uh, cosine theta t with uh, minus n t i. So I'll replace cosine theta t with one minus sine squared theta t square root. Uh, and then I'll do the same exact one. I'll do the same exact thing in the denominator. So, uh, so the same except it's a plus instead. Uh, one minus uh, sine squared. Theta t. Okay, now I could pull this inside the NTI inside the square root, of course, and I would square it. So this becomes cosine theta i minus NTI squared minus uh, NTI. sine squared theta t this is the same thing as saying this whole thing squared and then I could put a square root here divided by cosine theta i plus the same exact thing sine theta t squared and uh, so this here from it's the same thing as uh, under the square root nt over ni uh, sine theta t is the same thing as sine squared theta i. Uh, 
will stay the same and then the same thing here except it's plus this would be our perpendicular exactly matching the first equation here let's see n squared ti sine squared theta i yep so this is the result and uh, it's almost the same exact work done on the other one so r parallel from fresnel equations Uh, that is equation uh, 440 that says nt cosine theta t of theta i minus ni cosine theta t over ni cosine theta t plus nt cosine theta i uh, and again I will divide by ni up numerator and denominator just like I did on the first one so I will get uh, ni so this is becomes nti and the ratio cosine theta i minus cosine theta t all over ni that goes away and we get cosine theta t plus nti cosine theta i and again I will do the uh, replacement Uh, so I will replace um, cosine theta t with 1 minus sine squared theta t uh, We are trying, let's see, we are trying to get, so sine squared theta i, yeah, so, uh, so I need to replace cosine theta i, yeah, I will replace cosine theta i with 1 minus sine squared theta i square root minus cosine theta t, same thing in the denominator except I'll switch the terms so I will do nti square root 1 because it's positive so it doesn't matter sine squared theta i plus cosine theta t I will take the nti inside so this becomes nti squared under the square root minus nti sine sine theta i all squared so this is all under the square root minus cosine theta t Let's see if we're matching what we need to get here uh, mm, we have the first one multiplied by m squared cosine theta i uh, maybe I should have done this to the right hand side instead yeah because the theta t is is the one that has to go away 
and so uh, this equation 440 is let me make sure I copied the equation 440 correctly so this is uh, r perpendicular and t cosine and t cosine theta i minus n i cosine theta t n i cosine theta t plus n t cosine theta i okay uh, yeah yeah let me do the replacement on this the second guy not the first guy so on cosine theta t will be 1 minus sine squared theta t square root and then here we have nti cosine theta i and then here nti cosine theta i uh, plus square root 1 minus sine squared theta t okay um and what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna multiply up and down by n so I will multiply this whole equation by n t i top and bottom we can do that that's fine as long as we're doing it both places so we get n t i squared cosine theta i we take it under the square root so this becomes n t i minus n t i squared minus n t i sine theta t all squared all over n t i squared cosine theta i plus same and t i square under the square root we'd have to square it minus n t i sine theta t squared um, and this is nothing but uh, sine sine squared theta i yeah this is nothing but sine theta i so then the final step will be r parallel is equal to n t i squared cosine theta i minus uh, n t i squared And this guy here will be replaced nt over ni times theta t is just sine theta i squared. And then the same thing in the denominator and we will be done. Of course I did it here for this guy. So this is nt i squared cosine theta i plus square root nt i squared minus sine squared theta. Yep, this is all in terms of the uh, incident angle of uh, angle of incidence. That does it for this problem. This proves those two relationships.